Hello everyone, thanks for taking some time out of your day to visit my channel. Now today I'm going to be revisiting Within Temptation. I'm definitely making up for lost time. I realize I haven't been giving them the attention they deserve and now I'm just loving going down this rabbit hole of exploring their catalog. I'm just in love with it. Definitely my cup of tea all over. So uh, this particular video is gonna be dedicated to my pal Roger, who has kindly supported this channel. Thank you very much indeed um, for your support. It really means a lot. So, Roger has requested the song, The Truth Beneath the Rose. So I think it's from the same uh, concert uh, as we've been doing previously in it, which I'm really happy about because the production has just been insane and the crowd and everything has just been an, a fantastic energy. So I'm very excited to watch another performance from this uh, awesome show. Other than that, I don't know what to expect, so let's get to it. I'm so sorry to cut you off, Sharon, and everyone is screaming at me right now, but I gotta hear that again. Oof. Ooh, that was such a powerful intro. Everything worked. Ooh, oh, okay, I'm just gonna shut up. I just wanna hear that again because that was symphonic metal personified brilliance. Uh, shut up, Tom. Let's just do this. <laughs> stupendous oh it's it's such a powerful sound like how can you not enjoy that I don't understand why this is not number one this kind of music why is this not number one in the charts like it baffles me it baffles me it's uh oh, and I know I just I know I ramble on about Sharon's voice every time but I just can't 
get enough of it. I can't describe why I love it so much. I think someone said in the comments that she's never been uh, like classically trained or anything. She's like a fully self-trained singer. And in a way it shows because it's so unique. It has this amazing purity. It's both soft and powerful. It's like if someone, you know when someone whispers or sings in your ear and you get like a tingle? That's, the, that's what I feel with her. But at the same time, her voice is cutting through the mix and still stands out amongst all this stuff that's happening, this tremendous wall of sound. You still feel like she's singing to you in a very personal way. It's an incredible like, mixture of emotions you get with this. Um, and just, yeah, the way the orchestra and the band has been uh, arranged and mixed together just sounds brilliant. Like the band are very, uh, I've got, there's lots of like staccato, uh, notes like very uh, accentuated chords and uh, rhythms yet the choir and the orchestra are very uh, legato or smooth so it's almost like the you've got that classical bedding like that's the foundation and then the band members are like the if the whole thing is like a city, the band members, the singing, the drumming are like the towers that sit above the ground. That's my weird analogy, it just came into my head. Don't ask me to explain it, but... Uh, God, what am I on about? Yeah, this is just beautiful. Uh, the, looking at the crowd is insane as well. Like Everyone is just loving it. It's so... Mm, it's so powerful. You just, again... I'm losing the power of speech. Okay, <laughs> let's just keep going. <laughs> Give a few more comments before we finish this off. Both uh, the, like the bigger production uh, songs I've reacted to from this show, the brass section is so epic. <laughs> like it's, I don't know if it's mixed louder, if it's the way it's composed. I'm not a big expert when it comes to orchestral stuff, but goodness, it's incredibly powerful. Like the horns, the brass section cuts like a knife and it gives me chills. It's so, so incredible. And just the work that must go into this, just the amount of members involved, from the lighting to the effects, to getting every single musician uh, well rehearsed and everything. And it's so tight. And it's just, it's like you'd think they've been all touring together for years. Like they're all just such professionals. Every song is like a journey as well. Like going from that 
grandness and then suddenly it's just the piano and Sharon and I feel like that happened in the other songs as well so much ebbing and flowing and uh, it's I'm exhausted just I don't know how these people lasted a whole night <laughs> watching this I would be spent within a couple songs uh, but it's just it's just an absolute joy and it's it's just so easy to love this and oh yeah anyway let's finish this off and just a thought of pain that we have gone through all the times Will our lives truly sacred? Will our redeem our soul? Will truth set me say at this point god oh man i have absolute chills like that was so well done everything about that was epic and grand yet tasteful uh it just was a joy every, like every minute of that was an absolute joy um the final two or three minutes or so oh what a crescendo like the way the the fireworks came out and the whole every orchestra, the whole choir, every musician comes in and there's this huge just wall of sound hitting you and it's so powerful. I just, oh, what I would do to go back in time and go to this concert. I hope um, in my lifetime with the temptation to do another show like this, I will be there because, oh man, there isn't, it's such a spectacle and oh, it was great. I mean, like the, the first guitar solo, perfect length, not too long, uh, you know, very tasteful. And again, just I'm just flabbergasted that Sharon can have this ability to sing softly and personally and um, what's the word? Sentimentally, um, you know, it's, it's a soft. It's like you're being serenaded with this huge thousand decibel sound coming from the whole orchestra and everything. It's so incredible how well that works and incredible range as well some of those notes were uh very impressive and she just hits them and it's clean and it just all sounded so right and yeah, and a lovely little moment where she pulled the mic stand bag like please uh, the stage is yours and uh yeah again a very tasteful solo at the end uh not too shreddy or show-offy i don't think that would have worked for this song 
nice bit of feeling, lovely touch um, to round off the song nicely and just, oh, incredible. Yeah, I kind of want to just find this whole show and just enjoy it for myself because the whole thing is just unreal. It's just such a joy and such an incredible, incredible example of symphonic metal. Like this is, uh, I'm starting to think it's the best genre ever um, because nothing else makes me feel this way kind of ex like excited and I get adrenaline but also emotional and uh, sentimental it's it's incredible um, yeah and it turns me into a blibbering idiot that drivels on endlessly so I think I will wrap it up but uh, Roger thank you very much again um, for supporting me and for this suggestion I hope you enjoyed this reaction and I promise you that was 100% Genuine, I wouldn't fake it just because you requested it. Like, that was an absolute pleasure for me. So, thank you. Thanks to everyone who watched uh, this video. And let me know in the comments if you've got any feedback or anything you want to tell me. I always read your comments. I always am grateful and happy to hear from you. Anyway, if you want to support me, you can hit the like button or the subscribe button. That would be lovely. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everyone. And I'll see you next time.